Hi there, I'm Black Bright, talking about all the different kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, I just want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing. And I like the fact that you're sharing and you're liking. That's really good. It lets me, it's kind of encouraging. It lets me know that I'm on the right track and that I'm giving people what they want. I know I can't serve everyone, but as long as I give a little bit to a little, a little bit of something to everyone, that's fine. Um, today I wanted to talk about the um, foreign doctors that have been are being penalised in the UK. Um, a lot of foreign doctors, when I say foreign, coming from Asia, coming from Africa, they're now being asked to, I don't know if they now, I don't know if it's a recent thing, but I know the fee is quad, has doubled to um, 400 per um, person. Let me just read this out. Foreign doctors must pay 400 a year per family member to use NHS services on top of buying a visa. So not only are they being asked to pay for the visa, and that's a tier two visa, they're being charged £400 per family member to work in the UK as a doctor. Now, my thought on this is, I mean, they're charging all these fees that on the one hand, they're saying, oh, we're desperate for people in the NHS. We're desperate for people to work. And then on the other hand, they're charging all these fees, which makes it practically impossible for these doctors to pay them and live a comfortable life. And a lot of them are thinking about going to other countries. So what does that tell me? That tells me that they don't really want them to work here and I think it's all this you know that I've heard about this privatization of the NHS and health services and it's going to be like America I think this is a, a underhand way of doing that we haven't got enough doctors we haven't got enough nurses so therefore we can't afford the NHS so we're going to need to go private and we know we've got people in the wings who can't wait to buy the NHS so I can, that's the only reason I can think of why they're charging these doctors so much money and they're having to pay up front. Um, it says medics from around the world are considering taking their skills abroad. Angered by high charges and fees, immigration rules mean they must pay thousands of pounds a year for a working visa and 400 a year for them and for each member of their family to use the NHS. So even if they're not even, supposing they're not sick, they still have to pay this money under the assumption that they might get sick. Oh, I just think it's, it's so, it's so wrong. They said, you know, I've, I've kind of taken out little bits from all over the place. Dr. Julia Patterson from Every Doctor said the NHS actively recruits doctors from other countries. And yet when these highly trained individuals arrive in the UK, they're treated incredibly poorly, she says. These high visa fees coupled with the NHS surcharge combined to create a financially crippling situation for thousands of doctors. Many doctors we have spoken to are considering leaving the UK as a result. And we can ill afford to lose their valuable skills and services. Apparently, a Dr. Siti Ibrahim, a trainee GP in Yorkshire, who is originally from Malaysia, will have to fork out £11,400 this August if she decides to stay in the UK. That is made up of 4200 for the new visas for three years and three years advance payment of the IHS, which is the Immigration Health Surcharge, for herself, her husband and her four children. So that's so she can access the NHS. I'm just like... And you know what else? The, another, there's another troubling thing. Um, putting that aside in the sense that, okay, we know that um, foreign doctors are being priced out. When I say priced out, it's like foreign nationals. They're being priced out because they can't afford to pay the immigration fees. If they can't afford to pay the immigration fees, it means they've got to leave the country. They become 
illegal immigrants. And it's another way of putting people in criminalizing people and putting them in the prison system. Because that's what happens. They go into prison centers, and then they go into detention, and then they're deported. They go back with their tail between their legs, feeling very embarrassed. And for what? It's not like, you know, it's not like they're committing violent crimes. Um, it's, well... Laws do not discriminate in certain ways, but they do in other. They discriminate in the sense that they target foreign nationals, but they do not discriminate with regard to the caliber of foreign nationals. Thousands of doctors, teachers, scientists and engineers who have resided legally in the UK for over 10 years are now being given two weeks to appeal for deportation. So now you have a sector of doctors and other qualified, highly uh, professionals, high professionals, they are being threatened with deportation. Um, that's according to a visa and immigration updates who vlog on um, YouTube. They're now on the brink of hardship, denied access to NHS, prohibited from employment and recourse to public funds, can't rent a property, can't open a bank account, can't get a driving licence. There's a target to push out 1,600 highly skilled migrants within three years, even though they have paid an elevated amount of tax and added to the prosperity of the country. Paragraph 322 in brackets 5 of the immigration rules was not meant to be aimed at highly skilled migrants but they have fallen under this criteria depending on the country that they come from. Paragraph 322 in brackets 5 implies that the applicants are highly dubious and so they are unable to get a visa or a job in any other country forever just because of the country that they come from. An extensive number of professionals are affected by this paragraph and they do not have enough time to appeal, which is an expensive process. Included among those earmarked for, dep for deportation is a computer programmer, pharmaceutical expert and an engineer for the Ministry of Justice. And none have committed a criminal offence but have been highlighted because the HMRC, that's the tax office, asked them to modify, amend or file their returns. They have been told that they need to leave by the time their current visa expires and they are barred from applying from any other visa and not allowed to come back for 10 years. It's the same as deportation. These applications have been rejected under paragraph 322 in brackets 5 of the immigration rules, which is associated with terrorism. However, it is being used where there are minor errors or discrepancies on tax forms and where the HMRC has highlighted inconsistencies, but which were subsequently corrected without a penalty. So what's happened is the HMRC has obviously said to one of these doctors that, you know, there's some inconsistencies in this form, please correct. The doctors have corrected it, sent back the form, and it's gone through fine. But because it's been triggered, I guess they're all working together, because that's been thrown out and the Home Office has got hold of that information, they, these people are not being given a second chance. And they are more or less being accused of trying to swindle the system. That's basically what it is, even though it was corrected without a penalty. Because a penalty usually means that you haven't corrected it with a certain amount of time. So these people, they have corrected it within the time frame, but they're still being penalised. The Home Office claimed that they are only acting where there are substantial inconsistencies in the earnings claim to support the immigration application and the HMRC records. Um, what's this? Paragraph 3225 of the immigration rules is one of the general grounds for refusal. It states that applications for leave to remain should normally be refused where it would be undesirable for a person to remain in the UK in light of their conduct, 
character or associations. So, the doctors are having a hard time. So it's not just blacks, love. The doctors, it, well, to be honest, it's any foreign national, regardless, black, brown, regardless, depending on which country you're from. If you're not UK born, these poor doctors, they're having to, they're being penalised for coming from the outside, even though they were requested to come in from the outside to work for the NHS. But if they work for the NHS, and the irony is, is that they're working for the NHS, but they're still having to pay the immigration surcharge. That doesn't make sense to me. So they're having to pay for the service that they're working for. Anyway, I thought this would put it out there, and um, so you know what's going on. Um, all the different, oh, I don't even know what to call it. It just seems so unfair, but it's all about the money. England needs the money, and if you ain't got the money, they don't want you. That's all I've got to say. Bye for now.